Evening, sir. God bless home as best. How you doing? Do you think I got up and went to work this morning and I earned money and I'm going to give it to you? Why don't you get a job? Um, that's the last thing I need is a job. <laughs> the absolute last thing I need is a job. <laughs> why? God, why would you want that? All that trouble, all that having well, to get. <laughs> yeah. If other people will to go to work and get me money, yeah. I'm why do you assume that I don't have a job? Asking for money? Did, did I ask you for money? Have you seen me ask anybody uh, for money? It was, it was implied in, in the sign. The sign says, God bless the homeless veterans. That's what the sign says. It says nothing about money whatsoever. Not asking. God bless the homeless vets. New tonight, Atlanta Beach leaders are taking a step at addressing a key issue, homelessness. The city commission passed a new ordinance creating a list of steps for police to follow that could result in an arrest for sleeping outside. On your side, Zach Wilcox is live tonight at the Beaches Town Center. So Zach, this new law, it would make arrests a last resort, is that right? Yeah, Heather, I mean, a lot of the attention on this whole ordinance the past couple of months has been on the fact that police could arrest somebody simply for being homeless. But uh, really, the bottom line here is that they could do that already under the old law, which was just kind of classified as loitering. So it's changing some of that language a little bit. But the police chief wanted to clarify that tonight. He actually pointed out that even under the old law, they haven't arrested anyone who is homeless for the past three years at least. I mean, this is just a last resort, as you mentioned there. And really, this is about providing police officers with a step-by-step -step guide and resources they can share when they do interact with homeless people uh, that may be causing any kind of disruption or blocking any kind of public access points like the sidewalk I'm standing on. God bless our homeless families. A lot of these laws go against our, our, our civil liberties. So... They're, they're a slippery slope. Jeff Gray makes a living as a tow truck driver traveling across the country. Anytime he feels the rights of homeless people are in question, he makes a point to stop and bust out a cardboard sign to express his concerns. We need to have compassion uh, and help our homeless folks, especially our homeless veterans, instead of trying to pass laws to criminalize them. Atlantic Beach Mayor Ellen Glasser has received plenty of concerns from people like Gray about a new ordinance banning people from sleeping or camping on any public streets, sidewalks, parks, or beaches. Certainly we know that making arrests is not a solution because it clogs the system. It does no good um, for misdemeanor crimes. They're released, they come back to the beach, and they just move from one jurisdiction to the next. Glasser says the new law will realign Atlantic Beach's policy with the Constitution and provide police officers more resources to help so they won't have to issue as many citations or make arrests. But at least we're putting some tools in the hands of the officers to offer them uh, ways to help the homeless and in fact it's, it's going to be part of our law now. Police will be required to offer to take homeless people to a shelter if one is available. It's only if they refuse to move or go to a shelter that police can make an arrest. If no shelter space is available, which happens frequently in Duval County, the officer cannot make an arrest or issue a citation. The city commission passed the new law unanimously, with some admitting it isn't perfect. It's a hard one to fix and we're not going to fix it tonight, but I think this at least gets us steers the ship in the right direction. And I'll admit that that story is really just scratching the tip of the iceberg here. I mean, the bottom line is that there is no overnight shelter at the beaches at all. So if an officer does offer to take somebody to a shelter, they got to drive them all the way to downtown Jacksonville, taking that time out of their patrol or whatever else they're working on. And uh, as of right now, no plans in place to bring an overnight shelter to the beaches. Now, there is one uh, church that does offer a warming station. Uh, and during like severe weather, they'll open up as a shelter. And in fact, the city council or city commission rather did agree to pay for that church's operation when they do open that shelter uh, for the next year here. So that's one step in the right direction. But I reached out to Changing Homelessness and they pointed out that there are 1,100 shelter beds in Duval County and 3,400 people who identify as homeless. That's not even counting people who maybe haven't necessarily announced that they're homeless to Changing Homelessness. So really police may find themselves in that bind pretty frequently of offering to take someone to a shelter and not having a bed to take them to. In Atlantic Beach, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side. All right, Zach, thanks.